Lord, hallelujah. Happy Wednesday to you. We thank God for today. It's another glorious day and we give God all the glory in Jesus' name. This is every word of God for daily living. Let's worship God. Holy are you Lord all creation call you God what is your name the heavens declare your majesty awesome God how great thou art you are Lord mighty are your miracle I am in awe of your holy name Lord I bow and worship you I worship you Lord I bow and worship you oh blessed be the name of the Lord he is worthy to be praised and adored oh I lift up holy hands in one accord singing blessed be your name oh blessed be thy name oh blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name blessed be the name of the lord he is worthy he is worthy to be praised and adore oh i lift up holy hand in one accord singing blessed be your name jesus blessed be your name savior blessed be the name of the lord oh you are worthy to be praised mighty god you are worthy of my praise abba father lord you are worthy of our praise to you my life i raise you are worthy of my praise mighty god your word of our praises shall die king of glory lord of lord of our father so blessed be your glorious name i am that i am oh lord not like unto you in all the earth be exalted be glorified be magnified great and mighty god what is the lamb who was slain for us what is the lamb king of glory lord of lord is his name lord yahweh is your name lord i worship you be exalted father in the name of jesus Oh, blessed be your name. Glory to your name. Adoration to your name. Oh, I love you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your praises. Thank you, God, for you are here with us. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, God, teach us today. Oh, Lord, speak your word to us, oh, Lord. Oh, give understanding of your word to someone, Lord Jesus. Let the minds be open. Let the heart be open, oh, God. Let the will of man, oh, God, be conformed in your will, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord prevail, Holy Spirit prevail, teach your God us your 
word. Lord, we open up to you. Speak your diluted word and let your name alone be exalted. Let your name alone be glorified. Blessed be your holy name. Be seen in Lord Yahweh. I bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We give God all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is Danger of Uncertified Heart. This is by Pastor Parika, the International Director of the Wholeness of Our Movement Worldwide Short Form Horemo. Hallelujah. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you. July 27th, 2022. Our text taken from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 25 to 27. I read Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my status, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Amen. Amen. I keep verse in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Amen. May the Lord cleanse our heart. May our heart remain pure forever in Jesus name. Amen. I take our reading. Sanctification is a Christian experience in which a believer receives inner cleansing from sins and is purged from inward struggles and defilements such as pride, jealousy, anger, malice, hatred, envy, etc. Sanctification does to a believer what rinsing does to a cloth that was washed with detergent. After salvation experience, a believer needs sanctification for heart purification purity and holiness a believer that is saved needs to pray in faith in order to receive this experience it makes one's heart clean and pure sanctification comes after one is saved hallelujah you are sanctified after you are saved because when you give your heart to god then you begin to pray that God will cleanse you, we rinse you, we make you sanctified, that every flesh, every desire, every lustful desire will live your life. Through prayers, you can obtain sanctification. Amen. Sanctification also means dedication, consecration, and set apart for God's use. Hallelujah. You have to be dedicated and consecrated to and to be set apart for God's use. Hallelujah. This work of grace makes one not to commit sin. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin. Because he is born of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whosoever is born of God cannot sin. That is a word already. Are you born of God? Are you a child of God? Are you born of Jehovah? You cannot sin easily. You cannot freely sin. You cannot sin and your heart does not beat you if you are a son of God. You cannot freely live with people that are sinners. You cannot dine with sinners day and night that these are not your, 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 your powers because you say you are a son of God. No. For birds of the same feather flocks together. If you are a child of God, you will hate sin. You will not be able to stay around sin. Why? Because if you are born of God, you cannot sin. Hallelujah. 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 John chapter 3 verse 9. When the heart is pure, the mouth will produce clean words. The eyes will love to see undefiled things. The ears will also love to hear gracious words and detest sinful acts like worldly music and the rest. Sanctification is holiness. Hallelujah. When you are truly sanctified, that means you are holy. It is commonly noticed that after salvation experience, the heart often manifests some 
in bad sins. Maybe this is who you are. Now you have given your heart to God. The sin that you used to do, they are still there. Until you are sanctified. You totally surrender to God. You told yourself that I will not do, I will not go back again. You ask the power of God to come and give you that grace to forsake it, not to go back. Hallelujah. That even though you used to smoke cigarette before, now when you smell it, it is now a stench to you. You do not you do not love it anymore. It's not what you desire anymore. Hallelujah. This is what the grace of God can do. This was manifested in the lives of the disciples of Jesus. And there was also a strife among them. Which of them should be counted the greatest? You can take time to read Luke chapter 22 verse 24. I think that's what I just read. Can you see self-seeking? They were seeking themselves. Who will be greatest? Oh, this says it's me. This said it's me. The self in them was not destroyed even though they were saved. Even though they were working with the master themselves, they were still full of self. Who is going to be the greatest? Who is going to be the strongest? Oh, who is going to be the one sitting at the right hand of God? They were still striving. There was fleshly struggle and self-promotion. Maybe you are the same, born again, but you can still notice some carnality in you. You want people to recognize you. You can notice envy in you. You have a bitterness against someone. It means your heart is not sanctified. This means holiness is not complete yet in you. Though you are pulled off all the earring, you are pulled off all the trousers, you don't use makeup anymore. We have to say this because those people that are still using makeup and see you putting hair and they are still godly outward, some of them really have inward beauty. Some of them really have the character. Some of them are really, really pure inside. But because of the lust of the flesh. Okay, maybe not really, really pure. Because if they are really, really pure inside, it will, it will show outside. But they have some characters that are beautiful. That even some that are in holiness. That have pulled away the outward worldliness. Their inside is still very dirty. It's even worse than the outward appearance of some people. They are full of bitterness and pride and anger and jealousy and self-seeking, self-promotion, self. You have to cleanse yourself. It is not enough to just pull off these things. I was speaking with one of my sisters. She was like telling me, are you telling me that it's everybody that I put all this thing off that are going to heaven? I'm telling you that it's not. I said, ah, sister, it is true. Even those that have pulled off the stains, they are dressing from head to toe. They are not even seeing their body. Their ears are covered. Some of them, they are worse than the devil because their heart is evil. These are how the Muslims are dressing now. Does that mean that they know God? Does that mean that they will go to heaven? As you cleanse your outward appearance, you cleanse your inward. In fact, it starts start from the inside. Cleanse your inside thoroughly because if your inside thoroughly is clean, it will be transparent. It will show from the outside. We will see it. That is what the Bible said by their fruit, we shall know them. We shall know your fruits if you are clean first from the inside. May the Lord cleanse us inside out, not only inside, not only outside, but the boat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sanctification means holiness. You cannot harbor bitterness against someone. It means your heart is not yet sanctified. This means holiness is not yet complete in you. If you have removed the outward worldliness 
go to the worldliness of the inside is still there. You as a man, you still lost in your heart towards a woman. Oh, you are married, but you can still look at somebody else. Your thoughts, you don't have the control over it, over it. Your mind, you don't have a control over it. Your mouth, you don't have a control over it. You speak anyhow. When the Bible says, let your words be seasoned with salt that it may give grace to the listeners. That it may edify. But you still speak anyhow. You are not yet holy in your mouth. You are not sanctified. As I say, I'm of a filthy lips. The angels took coals and put on his mantle. You still have to pray, Lord, sanctify my mouth. Ah, you are a gossiper. You like hearing. And when you hear, your mouth must speak. The Lord should sanctify your ear to cleanse you. Cleanse, oh, you must hear every little story. Ah, ah, you must hear. You have to sanctify that ear. The Lord has to sanctify. You have to pray for it. Your eyes, once you see, you must see to the end. Ha! Ah. May you not see what will kill you. You have to pray that the Lord will cleanse your eyes. Cleanse your spirit. Oh, when somebody hurts you, you must carry it for one year before you even say hi to the person. Jesus, sanctify us. Sanctify us. Sanctify your church. Sanctify us. Body, holiness, church. And the one that is not holiness. Jesus, sanctify all of us. Sanctify all of us. Sanctify all of us. We need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. They need you, Jesus. We all need you, God. Sanctify us, O Lord. Sanctify us, O God. Sanctify us, O Lord. Jesus, have mercy. Even the apostles that saw the Lord God himself, they were with God. They were still seeking for position. Who will be the greatest? Not to talk of you or me. Every day, sanctification, you pray for it. You watch yourself. That you will not, the Bible says, take heed lest you fall. Don't say I've arrived. No, that's a proud spirit. Don't say I've arrived. Oh, I have it all. Oh. You are already falling. In fact, you have, you, have, you have almost reached the floor. Those have arrived. But that does not mean you, you continue in your sin. You rise up from the dust and you keep on walking. Don't stand and say, I've arrived. You rise up from that sin. No looking back, no turning back. But you keep walking until the Lord catch you on the way. Yes, you keep walking until the rapture comes. Don't say, I've arrived and you stand still and you want to build your tent. There's no way. Sin will catch you on the way. Keep walking. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep seeking the Lord. Keep walking for the Lord. In all humility. And you will get there. Hallelujah. You will get there. You will not miss it. The Lord will not leave you behind. Your holiness will be complete. Your holiness will be full. Your holiness will be complete. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me finish up. The Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. It is dangerous for a believer to live with an unsanctified heart. It is a dangerous thing. Our thought for the day says, it takes purity of heart to see the Lord be pure. In heart. For that's our test. It's taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That means, cursed are they that are not pure in heart, for they shall not see God. That is it. It's either one or the other. Therefore, we must pray and cleanse our heart daily. You see, a white linen. That is stainless. If you are not careful about that, or, or, about that, that linen, it will get stained. By anything, it can get stained. But if you are careful about it, you cover it, you keep it. You don't take it in a dirty place. You don't go and rough it in the mud. You don't let children with dirty hands to touch it. You don't let anything to come and patch on it. You guard, you guard it. You cover it well. It will not get stained. 
That is the same thing with your heart. You don't just say, oh yeah, today I'm purified. Hallelujah. I'm purified forever. No, it doesn't work like that. It is a daily process. You are purified today. Tomorrow you have to pray for it to be purified also. Oh yes, you have a pure heart today. You have to continue to guard it. Continue to protect it by the word of God, by prayers. Oh, by keeping it clean. Not let it jumps to enter into your heart. You continue to pray every day. The day you do not pray, just know that one stain has entered. The day you do not work out your salvation with fear and trouble, just know that that heart has been polluted with one thing and the other. That you need, instead of you to pray today, you need to pray two days now, two days prayer to clean that heart. That's just an example. Or you do not pray today, it kind of take you one step back from God. Now you need to more time for you to get more connected. Because the grace for today, you did not get it. And tomorrow you want to get, you have lost something already. Let the Lord purify our heart. Let the Lord cleanse our heart. Let the Lord pour us of ourselves. Let the Lord help us begin to cry to the Lord. Say, Lord, sanctify me, Lord. Oh. The Bible said, God, your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Say, Lord, sanctify my heart. Sanctify my heart. Anyway, I've not guarded my heart. And my heart has been spotted with a lot of malice and hatred and sin and fornication and evil. Jesus, cleanse me, oh Lord. Cleanse our brother, oh Lord. Cleanse Please, that sister, oh Lord, cleanse us, oh God. We need your touch, oh God. Cleanse us, purge us, purify us, guard us, make our heart pure. Hey, Daddy, I want to see you. We want to see you, oh God. Make our heart pure. Make my heart pure. Hey, Kalahotaya, without spot or wrinkle, oh, without any grudge in my heart, make our our heart pure. Cleanse that sister. Cleanse that brother. Purge them, oh Lord. Purify them, oh God. Ah, maybe it is someone that has hurt you and you have held them in your heart and you say, I shall not forgive, sister. God says, if you do not forgive, not even I will forgive you. You are spotted. Your... Look, you want to make that, pe- that person that hurt you to hurt you twice. How can you give such great power to such person? He has hurt you by what he did to you. And you want the person to hurt you again by you holding that person in your heart to take you to hellfire. Because by not forgiving that person, you have allowed that person to take you to hell. He hurt you, maybe by cheating on you. He hurt you, maybe by stealing from you. She hurt you, maybe by deceiving you. And now you are allowing that person to hurt you again. By making you to sin against God to take you to hell. No, don't give them such power. Tell them you are stronger. You are more powerful. You are wiser. You cannot allow them to hurt you twice. They have the first time. They cannot have the second time by they taking you to hell. By you being unforgiven. No, forgive them. Release them from your heart. As you release them, you see that you have already, as you are releasing them from your heart, God is releasing your blessing to you. Because you are beholding yourself. From with that unforgiving your heart, that sin you are beholding your heart, that secret you are beholding your heart. Oh, you did an evil, you have not confessed it, you have been hiding it in your heart. Your heart has been hardened. The devil has been laughing at you because he's waiting for you in hell. Say, Lord, purge me, cleanse me. In sin did my mother conceive me. Oh, God, cleanse me. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Oh God, purge me. Cleanse my heart. Make me pure. Sprinkle clean water on my heart. For that is your word. You say, I will I will cleanse you. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean. Oh, your word say, I will wash you and it shall be whiter than snow. Oh, you say you will put your spirit within me. You will take away the stony heart. Say, Jesus, take away the stony heart. Oh, Lord, take away the stony heart out of our hearts, oh God. Take away the stony heart out of my heart. Begin to pray to the Lord. Say, Lord, take away the stony heart out of my heart. Say, Lord, give me a heart of flesh. For that is what the Lord says. I will put my spirit within you and I will give you a heart of flesh. Give us a heart of flesh, oh God. Put your spirit within us. He said, I will cause you to keep my status. Begin to pray, Lord, this is your word. In the book of Isaiah, 
Isaiah 36, verse 25 to 27. Oh Lord, put your spirit in me. Oh Lord, give me a heart of flesh. Oh Lord, cause me to, to, to keep your status. Cause me to keep your word. Oh Lord, cause me to keep your word. Oh Lord, cause my heart to conform to your will. Jesus, cause me to conform to your will. Cause me to conform to your will. Cause me to keep your commandment. To keep your status. Oh Lord, to keep your judgment. Day and night, oh God. Redeem my Bible. Cause me. You are my creator. You know where to touch for me to obey you. Oh Lord, touch it. Oh Lord, I give you my will. I give you my heart. Say it all to the Lord. Jesus, we pray for a sanctified heart. Sanctify someone. Purify someone, oh God. Father, it is a necessity. Holiness is possible. It is. If it was not, you wouldn't have asked it from us. But you said in the book of uh, uh, first Peter, you said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Oh God, make us holy, totally holy, inside out. Help us, oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you for when we ask, we shall receive. We receive as we ask, oh God. It is a privilege and we are joyful that we have a Father who answers prayers. Thank you for answering our prayers. We bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel fire in my heart. Hallelujah. I know you feel the same. Yes, we give God glory. Daily, we, we strive. He said, those that will strive to enter shall enter. We strive through prayer. We strive doing our best. We strive being holy. We strive inside out. Ah, in that striving, God will meet us. We will go to heaven. In the name of Jesus. Christianity is not a magic Christianity is working out your salvation with fear and tremble. Those that say grace has covered us, you are lying to yourself. Wake up from that slumber. The Bible says, awake, you sluggard. Awake. Awake from your slumbering. The Lord is at hand. He says, walk circumspectly, for the days are evil. Awake. Be conscious. Christianity is consciousness. Somebody is crying since, ah, I saw something yesterday. A preacher was preaching in the street and then a, a, an agent of darkness in the form of a lady opened her bus out, not with bra, opened it in the front of the preacher just to distort the teacher. The preacher did not mind. He would face, he would turn the other side. The girl will also come again. He would turn the other side. The girl will also come again. Agent of darkness. So therefore we pray. Strike consciously doing what is right without allowing the devil to make you sin against God. Consciously overcoming Satan, knowing that he, is, he wants to make you fall, but you do. You are standing upright, saying, No, I wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. And we have the victory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I can go on and on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. We will overcome. We will make heaven. But sister, stand strong. Brother, be strong. And the Lord will come and we will go together. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a victorious day. Don't forget to follow the youth program up that is going on in Abuja. It it's, it's started yesterday. It's also started in a few hours' time. Um, it's going to start here in the U.S. time. I think it's going to be 1 a.m. my time. And um, in Nigeria, it should be 7.30. So please look at the flyers. Follow up the program. I'll be posting it um, when the program started. I'll be posting on my Facebook. So please, you can just go to, if you're watching me on YouTube, you can go to um, Ophuns. <laughs> I'm trying to think my name out. <laughs> That's funny. Often say here, but so you can just write it and then you follow me up. Or go to Pastor Parika link. Yeah, that's the best place to go. Pastor Parika on YouTube. Pastor Parika on Facebook. Watch it and be blessed. God bless you. Have a great day in Jesus' name. Amen.